All right, friends, it's T, and I'm back with another video. And, um, oh man, I gotta do another video again on uh, Jason Blaha. Yes, <laughs> our good friend, the gym lifting, recruiting lifting slave himself, Jason Blaha. Yes, let's review his video, which he just posted. Uh, let's see what he says. Blaha says, when clients ask if they can train every day or twice a day, okay, interesting. Yes, all right. <sighs> Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. I thought I would sit down and do another video for you it guys is. and gals, but let me give you guys Blaha. forearm shot first. He's got a forearm shot. Forearms are on point. Of course, it was back in bicep day. Oh, that was on point, man. Here was you guys saw. You know, here's the thing. I get a lot of clients, uh, and I've had two of them in the last month, who say, hey, I'm getting... You do? You have a lot of clients? Man, that could have that would fooled me. Didn't think you even had one client. Jesus, you must be really popular. Guys, hey, Blaha is so popular. He's clients, man. Holy shit. Good results. Uh, can I start training every day? Can I start training twice a day? Can I train seven days a week? Can I always tell them? Yeah, you could, you could go to a factory and lift seven days a week. Get it? Six hours a day, seven days a week with two breaks, 15 minutes each, and uh, half an hour for lunch. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? You're never going to build a muscle. And neither are those people in the factories lifting because there's something called repeat about effect phenomena. Get it? It's the protective effect. It's protecting you from building muscles. Could you imagine if you went to lift for six hours a day? Wow, that's a lot of volume. And as did, and this, like what he says, it's, you're going to get stimulus. You're going to stimulate the muscles and they're going to grow. Every time you stimulated lifting heavy boxes all day and lifting heavy shit in the factory, could you imagine if you grew every time that happened? You'd commit suicide and die. You, you'd fucking, you'd hang yourself and die and commit suicide. Well, I know why. Because every time you went there, you grew. You just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Muscles will exponentially get bigger because I stimulated. I stimulated my muscles, my muscles with the weights and they magically grew <laughs> I'm like no that's that's ridiculous um and just to give you guys an example to give you guys an example uh, i'm gonna flip in a client here that's justin uh very openly been a client of mine for a long time uh pretty much five-year client okay i coached justin for five years he was doing you did way more volume and more training wow. when he hired me versus the five years that I had him. You know, I had employees, you know, they put in a lot of volume too uh, at the uh, labor camp over there. I had to pay the minimum wage. They were, they were my, my, uh, how should I put it? They were my working slaves. Yeah. Especially had these guys when they were doing like fucking, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, putting the, um, uh, what do you call it? The asphalt up there on the uh, the roof, the house, on the houses. Man, it's a lot of work for them to climb the ladders and carry all that stuff on their back and then put it down and hammer all day and carrying heavy shit all day, especially demolition, you know, like taking houses apart and carrying heavy stuff out, doing a bunch of stuff, man. It's a lot of work, bro. All that stimulus, you should see these guys. They're fucking massive, man. They look like fucking Ronnie Coleman, even bigger. Because they never stop growing six hours a day training, seven days a week. They always put in the extra days because they didn't want to work five. They want to work seven because they figured uh, stimulus to fatigue. They're going to get bigger muscles at the same time. And I would pay them more money because they wanted to make, make more money. <laughs> uh, and we've made progress. We've made gains. Yeah. He's been training. Uh, oh Say, so did the workers. My workers, they made gains. You should see them, bro. They're just fucking massive. They're complaining, man. They keep, they tell me they have to take time off now because the muscles will not stop growing because of the stimulus. <laughs> For a decade, right? We still made progress and yet here's the thing. I took his training volumes down. He trained for most of the time I've had him. So are they, you should see them. They're even dropping their calories now, they said, because they, they go, man, there's just too much growth there. So they figured, well, we're going to get chiseled and ripped while we work and get paid minimum wage, me paying them. So I was like, okay, guys, no problem. As long as you can keep working. And they're like, yeah, man, we're going we're gonna to get ripped now and be jacked. going to be big and jacked now and ripped and everything. <laughs>
four days a week, but then uh, about a year ago, he said, hey, can I go down to, to three days? And they're still building muscle. They, they, were, they were saying, even though they were getting ripped because of the stimulus, the stimulus. A week, and it's just, it's just trouble of getting to the gym. I don't mind really oh, long yeah. workouts. I don't mind being there an hour and a half, two hours if I have to. Oh, yeah, me too. But getting to and from the gym is a problem. Can we do three days? We do really? It's that, that much of a problem? Why doesn't he just get a gym that's close to home, man? Three days, and guess what? He still made gains. He still made gains. Wow, he's still making gains with three days only? That's that's incredible. That's incredible, Blaha. He's still making gains, eh? So he's like, every time, every time he goes to the gym, he makes gains. So three days a week he's making gains all those three days a week and then the next week he's making gains when when do the gains ever stop man they just keep coming on and on and on according to blah forever jesus every time you go to the gym they're making gains bro <laughs> so when i get clients or other people who say stuff like i want to train every day oh yeah like why do you why because they want to get massive they want to be bigger than ronnie coleman come on bro you really think you're going to get more progress you think you're going to get more gains keep in mind well, didn't you just say what's the stimulus you just you stimulate and they grow they magically grow by stimulating them lifting these weights is that how it works blah remember when i did everyday training i eventually burned out you did do you guys recall i didn't recall you burnt out from lifting every day you're a lifting slave come on bro Look at you, you're massive. You're bigger than Ronnie Coleman. Remember in those videos you used to say, you used to post these videos, you said you were bigger than Arnold and bigger than everybody out there. You're massive. Your arms are huge. What do you got, like fucking 20, 27 inch arms? <laughs> how big is the how big is the circumference around between your, or around your shoulders and your chest area? How big is your chest area, dude? Like, it must be bigger than Arnold's. I think, what was Arnold's, 56? I think yours is like fucking, I don't know, 85? Come on, you got that big back, kyphosis and all that. How about those calves? They're just massive and your legs are just huge. I mean, they look like uh, Tom Platt's legs, even bigger than his. I did training every day. Of course, I took deload weeks because I traveled at the time. Oh, yeah, deload. I had to, was in a long-distance relationship, so I had to go travel, you know, like... What's the purpose of deloading when you're, you're constantly stimulating growth? You're just going there and you're stimulating. About eight times a year, so I took those weeks off. But I did about six oh, yeah. months barring those deloads. But what started happening? Even taking five days off from training at a time. You want to know why my voice is so deep, man? Because somebody asked me, do you have a sore throat? Okay, it's already late in the day, okay? But my uh, my voice is really deep because, <laughs> man, I'm uh, on a carnivore diet, bro. That's why, and uh, it just it finally shifted it shifted into gear and uh, it's become really deep. So um, yeah, and it just I guess I don't know. It's not always so deep. It could be very deep and then semi deep and then I don't know. But it's constantly really deep right now. So uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. What Sorry about that. I think it clicked off there. Yeah, man, I don't know. So my voice is uh, really, uh, yeah, it's really deep because uh, I don't know. Just is, dude. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Changes during the day, but whatever. Yeah. Carnivore diet, dude. But what started happening? Even taking five days off from training at a time, I eventually started getting serious over it. I don't know. The funny thing, I have stopped lifting for about almost two months now. I stopped lifting. I didn't really go to the gym. I, I don't even know when I'm going to go back. I just don't feel it. But it's been almost two months. It's coming to the end of the month. It's going to be two months, and I have not lifted. And it'll be June 1st since I started the carnivore diet. And I guess it, I, around now, it finally kicked in. It's funny. Not working out seems to make me, my voice and everything, my hormones, really sky high on the carnivore diet. But if I go to the gym and I stress myself, it doesn't really seem to be so high. Maybe there's an up and a down. Who the fuck knows? Maybe it's the stress. I can't really tell you the truth, but... It just is sky high because I did my blood test and everything. It's just sky high, man, and I'm not working out. Training signs. I am now bigger. I've hit bigger lifts, training less, and I'm now more jacked than when I trained every day. Wow, that's incredible. He's training less and he's more jacked and he's, he's stimuli, still stimulating the same growth. If not, if anything, he's getting even bigger. Jesus, this is incredible. Okay. Right? Yeah. So why would I go back and do that? Why would I prescribe that to a client? I don't know. Why would you? You know, the reality is 
barring a few pro bodybuilders, I would never even say six days is good. And the people who train six days a week who are pro bodybuilders, a few of them have done it. I mean, Ronnie Coleman did it or whatever. Arnold Schwarzenegger did it. But noted- oh, Ronnie Coleman lied, man. That I, I always say, they probably didn't have to do that. So the did Arnold. Arnold lied too a lot. Those guys could have trained less and still been Mr. Olympia. Arnold Schwarzenegger- Why would they tell you the truth, man? They were competing at the time. They have competitors all around them. Why would they, why would they tell their competitors anything that they're doing? The truth of what they're doing. Give me a fucking break, man. They're competing. Hello. Edgar said the same thing. He said, I probably overtrained. I probably could have been just as good, if not better, doing less. You mean there's a thing called overtraining? How about these people in the factories? Are they overtraining, working out six, six hours a day with only one or two breaks, 15 minutes each, and a lunch break, 30 minutes? Come on, man. Training that I did. And I'm not going to go into all this stuff with, with Ronnie Coleman, but Ronnie is kind of an aberration in and of itself. But even then, those guys who did six, did you see them doing seven? No. Did they train every day? I think they trained every day, yes. No. They took steroids. They took plant DNA and injected themselves with plant DNA, dude. These were some of the highest volume Mr. Olympias. Now keep in mind with Ronnie, though, he trained six days a week, but do you guys remember how short his workouts were? Yeah, I remember sure him saying, I usually try to get done in about 45 minutes. All right, so he's training six days a week, but for 45 minutes. Same amount of gym time that someone would get with an hour and a half, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. Arnold was kind of an outlier, but he was on a lot of stuff. That's been pointed out many times. <laughs> Look at genetics. Man, they all lied. What genetics? Copious amounts of anabolics and great genetics. What the guy look like as a teenager? The guy is... Yes, copious amounts of DNA plant genetics they injected in themselves. That's crazy, isn't it? 16, 17 years old had a better physique than most of us are ever going to have. Oh, yeah. Dead. He couldn't have been... Nah, nah. He has got a shitty... She had a shitty physique. And without those plant DNA genetic... Plant DNA injecting genetics, um, it's still shit. Training that long, not like he started at two. The guy had a better physique than most guys who've been training a decade who use gear while he was 16 years old. Just throwing that out there. A little bit of an aberration, but even then, they didn't train every day. How does Lo how does Lo Blaha know all this? He doesn't know anything. They don't even talk to him. They don't even know who Blaha is. I have seen countless guys who train three or four days a week with great physiques. I'm only doing five so that I can split stuff up. Uh, In the past, I worked out one day a week and I ate, and I ate, uh, I would say, I, well, I trained one day a week and I would eat six, seven days out of that week. I would eat massively amount, amounts of food. Copious amounts of food is what I focused on. The rest of the week so i would come in i work out once and then i would eat massive amounts of food the rest of the week i would focus on being in an anabolic growth state i would not stop eating i would eat and eat i remember eating sometimes i don't know <laughs> i could eat 30 eggs <laughs> jesus it's crazy a whole fleet of eggs 30 eggs and have each body part get worked at the start of a workout so that it's not fatigued later Okay, so I do five right now, but that's extreme. That's somebody who's serious, you know, you're eating like 30 eggs a day, whether it's boiled or raw, I don't know, whatever makes your, turns your crank, but you know, you're eating like, you know, meat, um, you know, I don't know, back in those days, I would drink some milk and um, orange juice, other foods and whatever. I would eat a lot of stuff, carbohydrates, usually just potatoes. And um, like I said, tons and tons of eggs, different kinds of meats and stuff, whatever. I just eat copious amounts like crazy. And sometimes in the past, back then, I was stupid. I did eat some fake food. I would down some Coca Colas, maybe some donuts at night because I just kept having to down these foods because I kept wanting to grow. Okay. For me, and I would say to most people, five is extreme. What does my lifestyle have to look like to do that? 
You guys know that I, I pretty much don't even eat processed food for the most part. My diet is all whole foods. I love tons of fruits and vegetables. I eat like 300 grams of protein a day. I sleep 8 to 10 hours. Come on, he's lying. We saw his food baskets. Tofu, spaghetti. Remember, guys, beans. Um, it's, it's engineered fruits and vegetables and he eats processed food, man. He eats processed food, he eats hot dogs. He had, in that basket, he tried to hide it from us. He had mustard in there. It has like yellow coloring, some chemicals, some weird shit. There was some other things in there. Plus he drinks coffee. What is coffee? Come on, it's processed. There's a lot of processed food. I believe he eats bread as well. Some other carbohydrates, I don't know. A bunch of weird food, man. He's a liar. Hours every night, okay? I'm getting away with five right now. I have you are what you eat, Blaha. A couple clients who do, but by and large, most of my clients train three to four days a week. Really? And I have seen countless examples yes. of people who train three days a week okay. who still had impressive physiques. Like, I feel like eventually I might one day go over to just three day a week training one day. I very well might. I just like the five because, again, it's my business. I'm really working hard on physique. So I'm taking it from my normal four up to five. It's his business. Holy shit. I thought it was power lifter. I've been doing four for years. But I feel like even the advantages of me doing that is relatively minuscule and only probably works. Oh, we got the forearm vein again. It probably only works because. He's teasing me now with that forearm shot, dude. Stop. You got. Blah, you gotta stop that. Come on, dude. That's my lifestyle is really dialed in for it. Okay. Man, you're causing us mental stress, bro. The forearm shot and all that. You're teasing us with these gains and everything. You gotta stop that, man. Listen, we're humans, okay? We're hurting inside, dude. You're hurting us. Come on, blah. You're hurting us. We're hurting. Really dialed in. So again, we come over to that question. Why do people want to do this? They get this idea, well, I'll lose fat faster if I lift more. No, you won't. Why don't you go do some cardio? Like, if your goal is calorie burn, so I told one of my guys uh, this morning, he's like, hey, could I start training twice a day? Um, you know, I I'm going to have a lot of free time this summer, right? Got tons of free time, way oh, yeah. more free time. I can have my sleep and recovery. I'm like, can I start training twice a day? I'm like, no. It's like, well, because he's trying yeah. to cut. He's trying to get leaner. And uh, I'm like, why don't you just walk a little why don't you just add an extra hour of low intensity cardio every day just do that and let's keep training like four days a week like we're doing okay why don't we do that it would be a lot better and i think that's the idea people think they're going to lose fat faster but weightlifting is not the fastest way to lose fat or burn calories um and now granted the studies are showing they're fairly equal for fat loss but again you have to recover from the lifting okay you're not stimulating extra muscle growth. Like if you're doing it to burn calories to get more ripped, we are creating a calorie deficit with it. You're probably not building extra muscle. Oh. And, and again, if you're not recovering, you're reducing your muscle growth. Okay. If you're not recovering, you're reducing your muscle growth. I thought you recover at night. Isn't that how it works? If you're doing a calorie deficit, it's not an efficient use of your time or your recovery resources. We get injured easier when we're cutting. Same thing when we're trying to grow. We're only going to respond to so much training. Oh, I had no clue. I had no idea, Blaha. Okay. That downtime is what keeps us in the game longer. It allows our joints, it allows our tendons, everything else to recover. That's why I don't like six-day push-pull legs. So I don't like people training six days a week because your, oftentimes your tendons and joints are not getting the recovery they need. Even, even if your muscles are recovering, you're doing extra work for no benefit. And to me, that's ludicrous. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. It's ludicrous to me too, man. Stimulus, right? Oh, yeah. I hope it's been informative. And I'll talk to you guys and gals next time. It's been super informative. I'm going to have to take your advice, Blaha. I need more gains. Anyways, you tell me what you guys think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. Comment down below. It helps with the algorithm. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, friends. That was hilarious, man. Ciao, blah is funny. Man, I think, I think his channel is a comedy channel. Really, it's a comedy channel. See you later, man.